Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. I don't have any classes on Friday. I just have you know, all my online classes. So I'm pretty pumped about that. I feel like the week went by fast, but I was ready for the weekend once it hit. And my weekend happens to start on Friday. Although, all that really means is that I get to stay home a little more. <laughs> Um, and land around in sweatpants and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, last night we actually stayed up a little later. We were watching, uh, the documentary on Netflix, What the Health. And this is a newer documentary. It was released in 2017. Um, but I think it was, like, you know, earlier in the year. A lot earlier in the year. And I have been meaning to watch it ever since it came out. Um, it's made by the same um, documentarians um, that made, I think it was uh, Forks Over Knives. No, no, Cowspiracy. I'm pretty sure that's what the one, yeah, Cowspiracy. I always get them mixed up, but yeah, they made Cowspiracy. And now they made What the Health. Cowspiracy was a documentary more focused on the impacts of animal agriculture on the environment and this documentary focused more on all like breaking down the myths of uh you know dairy beef chicken all that kind of stuff being healthy and you know showing all this evidence and doctors and uh it's very interesting it was very eye-opening um one of the parts that i really liked seeing was um so they ha had, I think it was three people that, you know, were, had some chronic illnesses. I think the one lady had, um, like, severe uh, frail bone issues and other things, but, like, she couldn't walk anywhere. And the other one had, like, uh, severe asthma, you know, was overweight, and, again, like, couldn't really leave her house and had to be hooked up to machines. And the other guy, he had... Um, diabetes and some other stuff and you had to take all these pills like all of these people taking so many different um, medications and then at the end um of the documentary i guess they put them through um this plant-based uh health center that one of the doctors uh, runs those in the documentary um and just after like two weeks i think the one guy had um showed his results after like six weeks um, it was a dramatic increase. The one lady was totally off her meds. The other one, I think, was, like, half off and, you know, excited to get off the rest. And the other guy was just, you know, leaps and bounds better. And it was just so inspiring and just made me so happy to see that, like, people and all their pain could be relieved and they could you know, walk and do things and live their lives, um, and, I don't know, that's always the best part for me, just being able to see people be happy, um, and healthy, um, as they say, nothing tastes as good as vegan feels, or nothing tastes as good as healthy feels, um, <clears throat> I, <clears throat> whew, my voice just wanted to leave for a second, um, but I'd highly recommend watching it, it was really good, i I'd watch, I personally would love to watch it with my family and see what they say. Um, I think it would be a massive discussion afterwards. But, um, yeah, it was really good. So those are my post thoughts. It's free, so you're not losing much. And it's only an hour and a half, so there's so many movies out there that are way longer. And you can totally take this time out of your day to have this mind-blowing experience. Um, yeah. And at least it ends on a positive note, not like some documentaries where it's like, and the world is shit. The end. <laughs> like, there is a positive spin-off, so you're not gonna be in total, like, angst and shock. It's not one of those documentaries. Alright, I wanted to show you guys my breakfast. This is like one of my favorite sandwiches, and I'm trying to eat healthier as a vegan, you know, less processed stuff, and um, some more, more food that is more nutritionally beneficial to me rather than food that's highly calorically dense and not really that nutritionally valuable, but <laughs> this isn't one of those meals. Um, I have some toast, toast with 
vegan mayo and tomatoes. And yeah, vegan mayo isn't really the best for you because it's not really, like, there's not really any benefit at all. I think they might put B12 in it, so at least I'm getting some vitamins and minerals, but <laughs> yeah, that's my good to pleasure. Vegan mayonnaise. Yeah, aside from that, I just clean up the room a tiny little bit, and I'm going to do some laundry, as you can see there. It's a long time. Needed to happen. Needed to happen. Um, and then I've got a whole list of schoolwork to do, and then I'm meeting up with a friend later today. And I might actually do my first um, biking vlog in a while, so I'm excited! Hmm. Good morning, everyone. Whew. That voice was very shaky. Um, I just rolled out of bed. <laughs> I decided to sleep in a little bit, not go to my in-class lecture, and just um, watch and take notes on the podcast later in the day because I want to go and exercise, and then I just need to bang out a bunch of work at home where I'm most productive. So even though, you know, they say it's better to go to your classes sometimes, which I try and limit myself very, to very few times, um, I have, you know, other work that I really need to get done, and I know that the best way that I work is at home in this very controlled setting, so I'm going to give myself that and the time to get my work done, um, and... Yeah, I'm also going to be helping exercise, and I think I'm also going to bake some cookies, which I wanted to do last night, but didn't get enough time to do. So, that is my game plan today. <laughs> it is just past nine, I believe, so not a horrible start to the day, considering I slept in. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get started, and yes, I totally fucked up with my last blog clip. I filmed and then I just got so busy and I didn't have time to continue the rest of the day's vlog so <laughs> this is like I think I filmed that on like Friday or something and it's Monday now so <laughs> yeah that was really bad <laughs> but anyway um, I may or may not be vlogging more but or this might just end up being a compilation vlog. So see you guys next time. Hey guys, I actually just thought of a really good tip for any of you guys who like wearing wide leg pants or let's say bike wherever you go and you have an interview and suit pants are a little wider. So <laughs> basically what you want to do is fold your pants over and then clip them with one of these little baby alligator clips. And it'll keep your pants from flying into your chain or getting oil smudges on it, etc., etc. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Um, I'd say as a last resort, use an elastic band or scrunchie, whatever you have on hand. I just feel like those don't look as nice when you're biking and are harder to get off because you have to take it over your shoe and all that. So, alligator clips are definitely my best tip for that. And on another note, I'm going to dig into this really big uh, burrito that I got. So, yeah. <laughs>